Welcome to completing your sales rep commission report. First, go to accounting, then to sales rep commission. At this point, you will select the salesperson that you wish to do the report for, then select the date range that you wish to pay them from and to. You also can filter it based on the ship date, delivery date, invoice date, or the invoice date paid. Once the selection is done, then proceed and select Run Report. At this point, all loads that has not been paid will appear. If you need to do any additions or deductions on any given transaction, go to the Edit function on the far right hand side. There will be an edit function for each individual load. Simply click on Edit, and at this point you can add or deduct from the commission on this transaction. Once everything has been recorded, simply hit save and it will be attached to that transaction. You'll notice you have a column for total commission to be paid, the margin, and the gross on these loads. Once you've decided which loads you wish to pay that sales rep for this week, you can either select all of them or part of the list, then select preview, at this point, you will get an option to open up the PDF, say OK. You will now have your sales rep commission report in front of you. The top left hand corner will be your company name and profile. The top right hand corner will be the sales reps information. Below that, you will su see a summary of each and every load that you are paying the sales for person for on this period. You have the customer, the ship date, the line haul rate, the fuel surcharge, all picks and drop charges, any additional charges, the total gross amount, the margin, and the last column will be the commission. You will have the commission broken down by load, and the bottom right hand corner will be the total balance owing to that person. At this point, you will go up to the upper left hand corner, select the printer icon, and print out a hard copy for your sales rep or you can go up to file and then save it as a PDF so that you can at a later time and date either print it or email it directly to the sales rep. Once you've printed your hard copy, simply close the screen by using the red X in the upper right hand corner. Then proceed to generate this information. We want to generate this information because it will move the loads from the new section to the completed section of the sales rep commission. So simply here select OK. And if you need to, you can now print it once again. If you've already previously printed it, you can simply hit cancel and it will take you back to the sales rep commission report. If at any time in the future you need to review the information, you can simply go to completed under the sales rep commission choose the sales rep's name and select run report. At this point all the reports will come up that you've paid the person for and if you want to base it on the date that you physically generated the report go to the, to the generation date section and select the appropriate date. Then once again hit run report it will pull up the information and you can also reprint it at this time. If you need any further assistance, don't hesitate to give our office a call. Thank you for attending Sales Rep Commission Report.